so let's proceed next option is minus f so set don't fragment flag in the packet now again in tcp header there is a flag which is called don't fragment flag let me first send the same packets with no special this don't fragment flag on it is now sending some packets let me open wireshark yes wireshark is able to capture these packets let me show you where this don't fragment flag is present see in this flags don't fragment flag is present in tcp header now in current ping packets this don't fragment flag is not set so if ping size goes anywhere beyond mtu size ethernet mtu size the fragment the packet will be fragmented and now if i enable this don't fragment flag specifically with this minus f option i will do minus f okay now i have asked ping to don't fragment the packet capturing is currently going on and if you notice here don't fragment flag is being set in this condition now for just to cross check let me remove this minus r which will put which will take the random size let me generate some 100 packets with time delay as 100 milliseconds with minus f don't fragment flag set and the size of packet as 2000 and no it is saying packet size exceeds mtu and needs to be fragmented but df flag is set since don't fragment flag was set f ping cannot create such packets and f ping cannot generate or f ping cannot send such packets on ethernet it is saying that so it is working fine next option is minus b option beep on every successful reply now if i do f ping f ping dot exe www dot google dot com and say minus b a beep sound will be created for every successful reply now this feature is again very important feature for troubleshooting if i want to see some 100 host if those 100 hosts are connected or not i can just enable the beep sound so that remotely i can easily check whether that particular host is on or not so minus b option enables the beep on every successful ping reply next option is minus i use icmp dll instead of the raw socket now all these operations that we were seeing just now were created with the raw socket operations or the raw socket was opened and we were writing all the data onto raw socket but instead of raw socket if you want to use the default ping dll you can go ahead and use minus i option so that the default ping dll will be used now next option is minus l limit the output to ping results and errors so only ping results and errors will be shown no statistics and no initial two three lines which we are getting displayed will be shown now so with minus l option now let me start ping with minus l and minus b so a beep will be produced and only the ping results will be shown now if you compare the above results and these results here only ping re ping replies or the errors uh, will be shown no statistics and no this initial i am pinging so and so for so much time and with so much delay etc all this information will not be shown okay now some last simple options print the timestamp with each reply with minus t option you can print the timestamp with minus d option you can print the date and timestamp with minus small d option ping with specific data okay um, let me first show you this minus t and minus d options so if you say minus small t 100 will generate packets with time delay between two packets as 100 with minus t if i give it will show me the time stamp for every packet and if i tweak it with minus d it will show me date as well as time stamp for every packet now even if this is seen to be very simple 
or very small addition to the ping if you want to generate any script with ping if you want to start something if ping was a successful at so and so time and on so and so date you can easily do a simple parsing or simple scripting around this ping and you can easily enable some event if ping on some on so and so date at so and so time was successful then do something all these operations can be easily integrated with ping with this minus t and minus d options